In this video, we're going to talk about group grids and using those grids with the simple pixel mapping effects. Here we have the Chauvet demo show loaded up. We have some fixtures in here we can pixel map. What the group grid is, is it is a grid associated to each group of fixtures. Every group you create will have a grid associated with it. We wanted to see the group for our spots. We can click the group in the group window, click view grid, and it'll show us that grid. By default, this grid is not configured. It's going to be just big enough to fit all the lights and that's it. So the first thing we need to do is set up this grid to reflect our fixtures in the way that we would like them represented in the pixel map effects. In this case, we have 12 spots. They're laid out with six on each truss with a gap in between. So I'm going to go up to set grid size and I'm going to set our grid to 18 by one. So 18 wide and one tall. This is going to give us a small number of empty boxes and our 12 fixtures. What I can do now is I can come up here and I can click drag move and I can drag around these fixtures and get them all laid out in a way that works for our setup and reflects our actual rig. There we go. You can see that we have one through six here, then we have our gap and then we have seven through 12. This reflects our two trusses that we have in our show. There's no need to save the grid. It's saved as soon as you're done editing it. If you'd like to see it full size, you can hit click view grid or unselect view grid. And now you can see your fixtures. This grid works the same as any other grid in the desk as far as the pixel mapping in the grid. So if we locate the fixtures and we go to view grid, we can see the color and the intensity reflected within that grid. Once the grid is arranged, we can go up, choose our fixtures. Go to add effects or add group effects, whichever one suits you. And you'll see there's a pixel map folder in the add effects window. This will take us to the simple pixel mapping effects. You'll see there's some things like a multicolor effect, two color step effect, some builds, circles, squares, lines, random and horizontal and vertical spots, ramps, and some rainbow effects. So if we were to put one of these effects on our fixtures, it's going to give us an option which attribute we'd like to use. This will change depending on the fixtures you have selected. We're going to choose RGB. You'll see that we get a rainbow effect across our fixtures. This rainbow effect is going to honor the layout of that grid and apply itself accordingly. If we add a new effect, we can add a pixel map effect. This time we'll add a half rotating line. We'll add it to the RGB. And you'll see that we essentially get a bounce effect as the rotating line moves back and forth across our line of fixtures. Each of these effects can be customized by changing the group or the groups of fixtures that they're on. They can also be applied to other attributes. So now if we do intensity, you can see that it's doing intensity. So now we can choose a different color and even apply another color effect over top of it. As there's a grid attached to each group, each group can have its own information. It can have multiple types of fixtures. So if we were to create a group that contained our washes, our spots, and our beams, record that as a new group. We can now grab that new group and we can go again to the view grid option. You'll see that all of our fixtures are represented in here, sorted by their head numbers. Now we can set a grid size of maybe 20 by 20 to start with. And we can set up our fixtures to reflect our rig. So again, we can turn on drag move. We can use highlight to make it a little bit easier to find the fixtures that we want to use. We can arrange the fixtures in a way that reflects our actual rig.
Once we have our grid organized, that grid is now available for us to put effects on. So if we go in, we were to grab our group, add an effect, pixel map, and choose something like the horizontal or vertical line, put it on intensity. You'll see that the effect will trace through the rig as they're drawn out on the grid. Group grids and the simple pixel mapping effects make it very easy to get effects across your rig with very little work ahead of time. It's not as complex and doesn't use up as many channels as the full pixel mapper, but still allows you some very nice effects and some very cool results. Hope you found this useful. As always, you can find us at www.campsuslighting.com.